Folks, like a Sonic fan here, I just wanted to show off some of my latest 3D printing endeavors and 3D modeling stuff that I've been doing because it's pretty darn cool. Uh, one thing I've been wanting to do for a very long time is have a breakout board like this. I've made these before. Uh, this one's USB-C, but I've made these with uh, micro USB and, and mini USB in years past. Um, but to have an easy way to add USB power to just about anything that you find and to kind of customize stuff like kind of cheap off the shelf uh, electronics that you find, you know, consumer goods and put in them like better chargers, you know, universal USB-C, uh, whatever it is, and, and to do that easily and with a professional look to it. And 3D printing has really made this possible for the first time for me, which is really quite exciting. Uh, so one of the first things I made was this case here, which as you can see is a really nice fully enclosed and it actually is a snap fit. It's got two uh, clips that uh, keep it all shut. And it's just a USB-C with the breakout plug. The USB-C board I just showed you has uh, a protection resettable fuse, has a charge LED and uh, a couple resistors and of course the, the output plug. So it adds a little bit more than just, you know, a straight pass through. Uh, the fuse protection is nice. But what's cool about this is you've got M2 uh, countersunk screw holes there. And so you can mount this to any project you have, just put in two screws and add the power wire to whatever you want. And then you've got USB-C. So that's the nice thing about that one. This is, <clears throat> this is a, zoom in here so you can see the things a little better, a, uh, just an iteration on that design with a 90 degree USB-C so that, that way if you don't want to have a plug you know going vertically up it'll come out it's a little nicer for a more of a flush look um, and there's a little bit of markings here on my exacto knife I was trying to get a little piece of plastic off and messed up but that's not a big deal um, and I printed this with 0.16 I believe this one was 0.12 um, they both turn out just fine you can see the 0.16 is a little bit less uh, gradation in the, the, the layer lines there. And then uh, after that, I spent what was more time than I thought was going to take uh, designing this panel mount version. Um, this panel mount version, uh, I don't know why this ended up being such a pain. Uh, it seems simple, you just put a panel on it, but getting getting everything figured out with uh, um, how much space to put around and all that kind of stuff uh, turned out to be a hassle. And then also I, I needed to redesign some of this to print it vertically. Um, and so there are some design changes. You can see there's no backing here uh, because when you're printing vertically, of course, um, I didn't want to have supports all through the, the width of the thing. So uh, there was some printing things there, but, uh, but it works great. You don't need the backing. You don't need all the covering because this is actually meant to go inside of something. Um, I did, as it were, design a covering for it, which is this guy, and then realized, yeah, this makes no sense because you're going to have a panel of plastic that's going to be you know, there's gonna be a gap there where this would close on. And because this is designed to be installed into something, you don't know what that something is and how thick that panel wall is gonna be. It could be two millimeters, five millimeters, it could be whatever. And so having a, a lid like this doesn't actually make any sense, um, which is fine. You don't really need one. Um, but what's cool is because this did print flat, flat on the bed, even though you do see layer lines, it's completely smooth. It's a really nice smooth finish. And uh, the gray is going to look especially nice on those kind of metallicized plastics that I have. And I have a project specifically in mind for this one uh, that's going to look great. And, uh, and then there is this nice little guy, which um, if I'm putting it on the right way, is it this way? No, it's the other way. Um, what's cool about this is I made then a, a threaded, this is designed to be tapped with uh, wood screws, you know, self-tapping uh, countersunk uh, wood screws. And so this basically works instead of back in the day when I was doing panel mount stuff all the time, I'd have to have these little M2 nuts that I, or, or number 40 nuts, I'd always be just really struggling to get those on. And it was such a pain. And you know, the future is now, man, it's great. Cause now I can just put this on and tap the screws right through. Even, even more, this square is, and these two holes, you can take a Sharpie and dot dot and do the square and that'll give you a nice uh you know kind of sample frame to cut out from to know to know where to where to drill to put your board in and then of course the the wider frame will cover up any imperfections in your drilling so uh it's kind of an ideal panel mount solution and uh, and then today i just printed this off which i'm very excited about 
um, because if you've seen videos like this one or many others, um, I'm always using these LED lamps, which I really, really like. And there's so many variants of these coming out all the time that it, even if you like one, it's not going to be available six months from now, which is the case of this one. Uh, a long time ago, they stopped making this one. And uh, I really like it. Um, I, I think the form factor is perfect. The battery life's great. Uh, it's got this nice little touch sensor, and a lot of them have a touch sensor. But this one, I just, it's really perfect for, for my desk area. And um, I have three of these, actually. And as you can see here, the thing that I don't like is that it uses um, a barrel jack, and a really poor quality barrel jack that broke almost immediately. Maybe that's why it's discontinued. And you'll see here one of my old uh, micro USB boards I just wired up to here in a really janky fashion uh, just, to, just to keep it charging for right now. Um, but I'm excited because this is going to be the new solution. And this goes on the bottom. And I, I did the, uh, the port on the side because of my desk arrangement. And it's, it's pretty nice. It's not 100% perfect. Matching this bevel on the outside is a little tricky. Um, but uh, it's not perfectly flat. But the, uh, the screw holes do align, uh, which I'm excited about. And uh, that means I'm hoping I'll be able to actually screw this on with the original screw holes, just elongated screws. Uh, you can see the countersunk bits they have here. And, uh, but wait, there's more. So what's also pretty cool about this is I've designed it to fit, uh, first of all, my USB-C board here, which goes in like so, all nice. Isn't it nice being able to model you and make your own stuff? Um, and then there's the four screws that'll hold that in. And then additionally, um, I've got one of these, one of these TP4056 chargers, I think is what this one is. Uh, these are really common lithium ion charger boards with protection circuitry, which uh, is the charger I think is kind of lacking in the, uh, the original lamp that I have. So this kind of fits right in here. I actually gave it a little bit too much room. Um, because I was borrowing someone else's model to, to create the sizing for this, and the model had the USB sticking out a little further. But no biggie. It's good enough. And uh, so that fits right in there, and that will replace... That might even just be a diode or something that they're using to charge the battery in there. So that'll make a nice, legitimate charger. It'll fit all nicely in the bottom. And there's even room to spare if I want to add other stuff. So yeah, hopefully this video was interesting. This is uh, the, the fun and cool practicality of uh, useful things with 3D printing. I think it's really, really cool. All these were printed, by the way, on my Ender 3 S1 Pro. Um, I don't know. Uh, I have some stuff on Thingiverse right now. I don't know if I'll put all of these on Thingiverse. Um, I'll, 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 I'll put some of them. But um, I'll try to link to that uh, below. And, uh, yeah, check out my free designs on Thingiverse. And um, I should really share this one. This one I think would be useful. If, if people have the lamp. I don't know. Let me know if you have that lamp and you want something like that. Um, and what else can I say? Uh, 3D printing is cool, and I think its its potential is often not uh, highlighted because uh, its potential is often uh, really only seen in like figurines and stuff like that, which is cool, but doesn't really interest me. Um, I'm much more interested in stuff like this. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, do you have a 3D printer? Do you have an Ender 3? Do you like it? I love hearing from folks, and uh, I'll catch you all later. This is Sega Sonic Fan, signing out.